Okay, group one, option A. So I'm gonna continue your storyline and Okay, so we have the mountain over here. All right. Um, for the most part, I'm seeing that uh, the only thing that this will bring you is peace. Now, I don't know whether it will actually change your life in a significant way or not, but it will definitely bring you peace. So we have death. Wow. We have inner healing. We have forest bathing and river woman. Okay, okay, all right. It's a very straightforward message. The own, there's something that was inside of you that was feeling unsatisfied, okay? Even though your life is pretty good and you have provided for yourself, your family, your children, everybody, and uh, you've done quite well for yourself, you were still wounded on the inside from everything that you experienced in your past. And that is the main reason why you're feeling all these jitters. And that's why what happens is that once you start seeking counseling or you go to a spiritual leader and attend their retreats or meditation programs or you get a tarot reading or consult with an astrologer, these people, whoever you go to, give you what you need to feel at peace on the inside for some of you and it again it'll be different for different people so some of you may really enjoy meditative practices so you will go for a meditation retreat and it will really bring a lot of peace and calm to you on the inside others will go for therapy and it will completely pour out all the emotions that were blocked on the inside and nobody was addressing those things and you'll suddenly start feeling so much better others of you will go get a consultation with a astrologer or a tarot reader or something and again the situation is the same it is like you will find a lot of peace because you are going to gain uh, the information that you needed to process what you're feeling on the inside, so inner healer. And the people that you approach, be it a spiritual leader, be it anybody else, they are only facilitators, okay? So they'll give you the tools, they'll give you the information, but you will actually have to go and put in the work. But since you already are the kind of person and we are talking about the your future, right? So in this life path, you have already proven that you are a very disciplined kind of an individual, that you are capable of taking information, processing it and putting it into action. And so when you start doing that, you are the one who essentially heals yourself with the help of these facilitators. OK, so yes, credit goes to them as well to help you understand. But majorly, you are the one who puts in a lot of effort to heal yourself and bring yourself a lot of peace. I'm also seeing that because of these practices you will come across a lot of people who are very similar to you who have also encountered similar experiences in the past maybe you all uh, have similar you know backstories of rags to riches or extreme bullying and how you overcame that or uh, get uh, being in narcissistic relationships and overcoming that or whatever your situation might be with the eggs over here and death it's that when you were young before you accomplished all of that stuff and this takes us right back to the first reading or in episode one which talked about where you are in your life okay and maybe even before that it's like life has not been very kind and or people have not been very kind so you find community and you also realize that there are so many other people in the world who have also accomplished similar things like you and you're giving each other emotional support okay so that is something that is coming through for you so at the end of the day this path turns out to be actually a good path for you you do accomplish everything that you set out to plus you also find peace on the inside 
so with that said group number one option a this is the end of your reading if you want to check out the other path lines to see what your life might look like if you were to choose the other choices um you'll find the link to episode one in the description box below but for now this is your reading if you enjoyed this hit the like button below let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and if you would like to support this channel and my work over here you can send me a little donation through the super thanks uh, button that youtube has provided down below um but for now this is all i've got for you right now um i hope you have a great day ahead and i will see you next time take care bye bye I group two option C, so I'm gonna start right away. Um, so we're gonna have a look at what your life will look like after you make this choice. So after group C decides they want to be loving and kind. Okay, the cards are a little bit all over the place. Wow, okay. It's a very interesting thing I'm seeing. I'm seeing that your life can go two ways actually. For some of you, the person that you're with will actually suddenly realize that what they have been doing is wrong because they actually are not a bad person and that is why it's very important for you to pay attention while you're watching these tarot readings because you're watching a tarot reading on youtube this is a general reading which is watched by many people this is not specific to you this is not a personal reading okay so for some of you because again two paths the person you're dealing with, you know in your gut that this individual is not a bad person. They're actually a good person. They just did not know that they were doing some things that were harming you. Okay. And if you know that without a shadow of a doubt, then this thing might be what might happen for you. It'll still be all over the place. It's going to be difficult when these things come out to the surface. It's going to take a while for things to settle. All right. But for others of you, do not delude yourself that your person is a good person. If they beat you up, if they're abusing you in whatever capacity they're abusing you, and they're gaslighting you, and they are completely controlling you with an iron fist and stuff, whatever your situation might be, do not be delusional. And do not let enablers of this toxic person or these toxic people convince you that Oh, you can't complain because you have got, you live in a family that is so wealthy. So look at the children in Africa. They don't even have this much. So you don't have a right to complain. Okay. Or other shit like that. Okay. Do not be delusional. Because if you're delusional and you think that your person falls in this category, your life will completely go down the drain. Okay. Because if you are in reality, 
in the company of somebody who is that toxic who is that abusive who goes out of the way to lash out at you in whatever capacity physically emotionally sexually whatever and they're gaslighting you and making you breaking down your confidence making you incompetent at even the smallest things in life with the fairy wind over here this person is leaving this is the um, this is the option for you option c is literally not the option for you so i'll get back to this path but i want to let you know that you need to stop watching this reading right now this is not for you you cannot be delusional and think that if you are being loving and kind towards this individual they will change no the only thing that will happen is that when you start bringing these things up this person will get angrier and angrier at you they might start beating you up more doing more of those toxic things there might be a very very messy divorce which leads leaves you completely bankrupt at the end of the day you will you could even die for some of you and i am not saying this to scare you but i'm also saying saying this to scare some of you because you only have to watch the news to know how real this is and how many people you go and look at the statistics of people who die because of domestic violence every year and also you will also find out that the the laws are really bad okay and the amount of help that is available to people is also not very up to the mark especially if you belong to com com countries where they don't even have these kind of laws okay they don't even have any help centers for women to go to shelters for women to go to or people to go to it doesn't just have to be restricted to a particular gender right so you have to stop being delusional please go back to you know um i think it's episode 1 which has got the links to option a and option b uh and check out i think option option b would be a better option for you but i would suggest you check out both option a and option b to see which path is better for you but yeah technically i would say watch option b okay so i'm going to move on to the actual part of this reading for those of you who genuinely are in the company of somebody who's not a bad person in their heart they're not a bad person but they have been misguided and they did not even know that they were doing something wrong they probably thought that this is how some things are supposed to be i i immediately uh, i uh, got the impression of somebody who's very very religious so i saw somebody um, who and this is a metaphor but it might be very exact for some of you okay so i saw a christian man in my mind who believes with all his heart that you're supposed to take care of your family and your children and provide for them and do this do that but he also believes that women should work like this and men should work like this girls should behave like this boys should behave like this and he's very good intention because that is how he has been raised and that is what the religion that he follows has been telling him but at the end of the day he is just breaking down the confidence of his girl children and creating this dynamic where both his children and his wife they are feeling as if they are weaker like a lesser society lesser member of the family that they 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 have to always submit to this person so wishes because that is what an obedient wife or an obedient child is supposed to do or stuff like that okay um i'm not pick especially picking up the obedient thing but uh, it, it definitely is coming through that this person believes in certain things because of the religious upbringing now this will not be for everybody that's why it's like a metaphor so for some of you it will be literally this thing but for others of you please apply it to your situation okay so the, your person whoever or even if these are your friends okay it doesn't have to be one person they are not bad people but they are they have been raised in an environment that told them that the way they are behaving is perfectly normal okay but it is not normal and what i'm seeing is that you bringing this topic up and you speaking out you speaking out will actually create chaos at at first um it will definitely create chaos at first and a lot of them will still try to gaslight you because 
when something is that ingrained into an individual it is very difficult to get it out of the system okay no matter how much you tell, tell them about women's rights and stuff if somebody is very patriarchal in their mentality they are going to be completely anti feminist okay and they may not even understand what feminism is all about okay if somebody is very much against liberals no matter how much you tell them that their republican government or whoever is like basically taking away their rights from them with these abortion laws or you know other stuff they'll be like no 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 uh, uh, that is wrong it's not true they will never believe all right so again i'm seeing that even after this thing even after you tell these people the good intentioned ones it will still go two ways one way would be that their eyes open this will not be for all of you but for others of you what will happen is that they will decide that they don't want to be friends with you any longer they don't want to be in a relationship with you any longer and they're going to move on because they'll be like you are not our kind of people you're probably talking nonsense and they'll just move on okay and okay let me just some of them will refuse to look at themselves because they have a very high opinion of themselves and they'll be like i don't want to look at myself this way because this person is making me seem like a bad person but i know i'm not a bad person and that's a very very uh, negative way of looking at something because when someone comes and tells you that you are mistreating them or not letting them grow and your first response is that oh no no i i don't think this is true instead of trying to find out if it's actually true and that's a very uh, very self absorbed and entitled way of looking uh, living life basically so so basically what your life will be is that uh, with six of bones over here eight of challenges at first you might actually get gaslighted by these people because you're so used to being gaslighted that you don't know how to think critically okay because critical thinking is a practice all right the more you practice critical thinking the better you get at it all right and the way you can do it is like for example any time you consume any content on youtube say keep pausing the video and discuss things what you have watched so far okay if especially if it's talking if it's a podcast and you have your own opinions about something that is happening pause the video and express that okay and then watch again and then express then watch again it'll 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 sharpen your critical thinking skills okay so that is just one thing and the same applies to whether you're reading a book or like watching something on tv what is your opinion even if you make some mistakes at first it's still fine but you have to practice otherwise you'll never get better and the thing is that because your critical thinking skills are low and these people try to make sure that you do not have critical thinking skills and the fact that you have been gaslighted so much at first you'll just go along with whatever they're saying and you will not trust yourself and your instincts and you will be like most likely you'll you'll basically believe the fantasy that they're trying to sell you but it is not reality okay <sighs> unfortunately what will happen is that yeah yeah for the most part even though you are voicing these concerns and these people are hearing about it the fact that they don't actually want to do anything about it and they are very against even listening to it because they are like i think very highly of myself and i know i'm a good person so i'm not going to believe any of this bullshit okay so because of that they gaslight you okay and you buy into their fantasy once again and this time they gaslight you in a very different way they gaslight you with love and then what happens is that for a while you go along with it and then something happens again in which something very precious to you is lost because you are in this environment that is controlling you whether it can be they don't allow you to pursue your dreams it can be that they force you to have children when you don't want to have children it can be that you want to start something but then they decide that they are not going to invest in you or other stuff it'll be something very very important to you 
and suddenly you will realize that oh my god i got gaslighted all over again just because i gave them the benefit of the doubt but they were so good at manipulation already that even though they are good intentioned at the end of the day it does not matter how good somebody's intention is okay i mean someone can manipulate you and say that but i have good intentions i know that i am right i know that i have i can lead your life much better than you i can make better decisions than you because you are a woman or you are a whatever your age is and you cannot make these decisions it's impossible for somebody like you to make these decisions so for the, your betterment i had to make these decisions all right and is essentially because they are so good at gaslighting and manipulating and because like it does not matter what their intentions are you have to look at the end result if the end result is that you are getting gaslighted your life is going nowhere you are becoming incompetent and you always feel attacked or you are not able to be in touch with reality then does not matter how good their intentions are they are toxic for you and the fact that in fact this is reminding me of something that uh fiction writers uh the best ones uh will tell you this that the best villains in life not life best villains in stories are those who absolutely believe they are good okay and this is the same thing in real life as well if you look at hitler or you look at any other really really horrible person let's take the example of the taliban okay the taliban absolutely believe with their entire heart and soul that they are good intention because we are honest muslim men and we want to free our country from the influence of uh the western civilization that is making the muslim children and the muslim people turn away from muslim cultures and become westernized okay so they believe with their entire heart and soul that what they are doing is right but what is the end result people's rights are getting taken away the latest thing i read was that children girl children after the age of 6 will not be allowed to study any longer and there's so many things that are happening as well okay they banned women having license uh driving licenses women cannot even leave the house without a guardian at this point stuff like that okay and that's just the tip of the iceberg i don't know so much about that country and what is happening in detail but this example came through very specifically to highlight one simple thing don't be delusional just because somebody is good intention does not mean that they are actually good for you you have to look at your life and what your life has become and what you have become to know the truth of the situation because and i'll repeat myself the best villains in the in in any place are those people who believe with their entire heart and soul that they are good that they are not evil that they are good and they are doing everything for the right reasons okay and that's the scariest shit ever okay so i would suggest group uh see that you go and check out group a and group b's reading right now because your life is going to constantly keep getting uh thrown into these tumultuous situations if you continue down this path of delusion that love and kindness and understanding will help somebody who has so much power over you and who is constantly being manipulating you and gaslighting you change their ways okay so do not be delusional all right so you find the link to episode 1 in the description box below because the links to the other options are there in episode 1 uh but for now this is your reading i hope this reading was insightful i know it's very hard to listen to but the truth has never destroyed anybody's life it's only lies and manipulation that destroy people's lives okay so even if it's bitter this will literally save your life at the end of the day so if you found this reading insightful 
do like the video let me know what you think about it in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and if you would like to support this channel and my work you can send me a little donation through youtube the super thanks button in the uh below this video so i guess that's pretty much all i've got to say for now i hope you have a great day ahead and i will see you next time take care bye bye Hey group one, so you chose option C after you picked option B. So I'm gonna get started right away. What will your life look like if you decide to just take the first good opportunity that comes your way, or the first good prospective husband or like bride, groom, whatever this is that comes your way? Whoa. Yeah. So as I mentioned in the previous reading, and I'm going to pull cards in just a bit, a little bit more. Um, as I mentioned in the previous reading, you have some self-esteem issues. And that's being highlighted all over again with the Child of Boons and the Nine of Swords, Nine of Challenges. That because you have always felt ostracized or for one reason or the other, nobody actually wanted you, whether you were raised in a neglectful family or whether your skin color is a certain kind because of which the prospective grooms or the brides were rejecting you or nobody ever wanted to invest in you. And because of that, the first person who comes along who shows interest, you're like, yeah, Thank God you came along because I really thought like I was a worst, worthless piece of shit and nobody gave a damn, okay? Well, with suspension, which is the hangman in this deck, I am seeing that this would be a very bad decision. Because you would not do your due diligence. You would think you are doing your due diligence, but you are actually not. Because emotionally, you want real bad to take this opportunity. You want real bad to just be with this person, whoever you are with or whoever you found. And guess what will what your life will be like? It'll, it'll just be a kind of life where the opportunity just keeps you stuck. You do not grow beyond that. Maybe you do it, say, say you sign a book contract. You finish that contract, but your book never get, goes anywhere. And because it never goes anywhere, you're stuck where you are and your career never thrives. In fact, it might even go down. Like I'm literally getting the example of Doja Cat right now in my head, how she signed uh, with a record company and things were not going well behind the scenes with her and the company executives and stuff. And uh, for the most part, she saved her own career by putting out that meme song, I'm a cow, bitch, I'm a cow, that one, okay? So, she saved her career. But because she was in the company of people where most likely she took the first opportunity that came her way, she got stuck, okay? And this is the story of a lot of other people in, uh, the, in the entertainment industry as well. But this is not just the entertainment industry, it happens in every other industry as well, okay? But uh, I have those examples, so that's why I'm using it. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull a few more cards for you to. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. 
I am literally saying that it would be in your best interest to not take the first good opportunity that comes your way. Even if it looks all bright and shiny and everything, it will not be the right opportunity for you. And and it's almost like a test. A test for your self-worth. Because you might be putting these people on a pedestal. Like for example, say you are a great artist. Or a great creative. You have, you have a lot of talent inside of you. So whoever comes to sign you on, the agency or whoever, they see that talent just like your audience, right? And they might put themselves up on a pedestal and be like, oh, we work with so many uh, artists and this, that, this, that, whatever. You don't know their company. You don't know whether they actually do any work or not. Why are you putting them on a pedestal? Just because they are a big name? So that is the important thing. For Do not get carried away by big names or people portraying themselves to be like your lucky break because that is such an arrogant thing to do. For some external person to come and tell you that if you do not take this opportunity with us, you'll never go anywhere in life because huh, you think anybody else will invest in your dream? Anybody else will invest in you? No. All right. So you better take this opportunity. Otherwise, you'll never get anywhere. Do you want to really take opportunities and work with people of that kind? Who are that entitled and that arrogant? Do you really want to work with such people? The answer would be no. And so, even though there'll be a lot of people in your life who'll be like, no, I think you're making a mistake. You need to trust yourself. You need to trust your gut. Because I'm seeing this with the spread in front of me that your gut will tell you it's not the right move. But your mind will be like eating away at you. That, oh no, what, what if this goes away and I never get any other break ever again? So it's going to be very difficult to quiet your mind. Maybe meditation might help. It may not help either. It might just be a very difficult, it might be incredibly difficult to let go of this opportunity and literally let it go. You might even cry that, oh my God, did I make a mistake or not? But I am seeing that this very thing that you do by letting it go will actually improve your self-worth in the sense that you are literally telling yourself I value myself and the work that I bring to the table. So I'm not going to allow anybody else to come and tell me my worth. I'm not going to allow anybody else to come and be like, oh, I am way more valuable than you. So if you were to partner with me, maybe you will become more valuable as well. But I am more important than you. Okay. And your work will only be valuable as long as I help you. Okay. Don't get into all of that nonsense. You need to know that your work is valuable because these people wouldn't have even come to you if there was no demand for your work. Did any of these people come when you were starting out? No, they weren't. Why? Because they are opportunistic as well. And a lot of times these opportunistic people will arrive at the doorstep of the up and coming because they know that these people are naive and they'll take the first opportunity that comes their way and they make money. Like I'm literally getting the example of YouTube syndicate uh, syndicates where they will get a lot of these YouTubers to become a part of their YouTube syndicate family where we'll put your name on our subscriber list or something like that on our YouTube channel and we'll promote your content and this but you give us a cut of your you know ad revenue well a lot of people leave these syndicates and then tell them that joining these syndicates never brought any extra audience to their platform but they were constantly giving away a portion of their money to these people and that's exactly the energy that I'm picking up over here okay so please go and check out option B. No, was it options D? Yeah, it was option D. So check out option D right now. Uh, now, if you are, uh, uh, 
you'll find the link to episode 2 on my uh, you'll find episode 2 i actually don't remember how you will get to that okay just go back to the previous video <laughs> and check out option d all right because uh, i am not going to be listing the links all underneath this video okay um but yeah that is your reading i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope you found this reading insightful again you don't have to completely agree with me it's your life at the end of the day you can choose to do as you please but the cards are what the cards are um so any which way that is all i've got for you right now group number 1 i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did hit the like button below let me know what you think about this in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and if you would like to support my channel and my work you can send a little donation through the youtube super thanks function sorry super thanks button uh it's there uh beneath this video so i guess that's all i have got to say for today i hope you have a great day ahead and i will see you next time take care bye bye So you choose option B and then option C. So I'm gonna start uh, and tell you what your life will look like um, when you decide that you do not want to delegate tasks and you can manage to do it by yourself. So Oh, very interesting. With the hermit over here, I'm seeing that you will not have enough time and energy to actually do much in your life. You have the tower over here, the folly. You will realize that it's impossible for you to actually um, invest enough time and energy into every aspect of your life. So, because you've decided to do everything by yourself. and be in charge of everything yourself it'll be impossible for you to take care of your children impossible for you to pay attention to your family pay, impossible for you to pay attention to anything else other than this one thing that you have completely invested everything into because everybody has their um, bandwidth of energy okay and there are only so many hours in a day and you cannot work for 24 hours you also have to sleep you also have to eat all of that stuff is also there So with the hermit over here you'll become increasingly isolated even if you are have even if you have a lot of family and a lot of children and a lot of other stuff you will not get to interact with them much you will probably not even be like you'll become very distant from everybody it's the energy of somebody who like one of those uh, people the high high level executives in companies who have put their entire heart and soul into the company and their work to the detriment of their family life so their children are estranged from them or they don't really have a very strong bond with them their wives are upset that they never show up for anything and all of that stuff so that is the main thing that is coming through and with folly at the bottom of the deck and the white heart i am seeing that uh, you will realize after a point that your enterprise is not growing as fast as you might have wanted it to grow hmm and the fact that some of you may still want to soldier through and 
do everything like take care of this take care of your children take care of everything um the four of visions over here yeah again it's the energy of burnout over here very strong burnout like life will lose its luster and you won't even be able to enjoy anything in life because you're so burnt out at the end of the day and after a point in time because of this estrangement energy because you're literally not there for your family you're not there you cannot show up for your relationships you cannot show up for your children well guess what you never form any connections with them or whatever relationship you had it frays and becomes non-existent after a while and so you feel as if you have been abandoned because none of your children are close to you any longer or and and you're like why why is this i worked so hard to provide for all of you but they'll be like yeah you provided for us by giving us say a good place to live in or money to you know pay for things but we would have actually liked you to show up for a ba for our ballet recitals and you know be a, be there for the parent teacher meetings and actually take an interest in the life you know so if you were never there for any of that stuff guess what i'm closer to the nanny than the mother okay so things like that um so you'll be very flabbergasted to know that you're not, you don't have a good relationship with your family any longer with your close ones but this will literally be the reason because you're doing too much so what i am definitely seeing is that uh, you will be able to bring your vision to life with the magician over here the enchanter it'll just be a very slow process because there's only again so many hours in a day that you can even utilize right the rest goes towards eating and sleeping and other stuff um but you will be able to maintain control over your vision so if this is something that is small scale in nature like a small business or something maybe and you're okay with that then i guess it's fine but if you if you want to build something to a very big scale make this a company or something you will have to eventually bring in help okay you will have to delegate tasks eventually so now that you know what this path looks like i would suggest go back and check out option number d so go back to the previous video and check out the link to option d and uh, yeah so basically you will know what your life would look like if you were to choose to delegate instead of doing everything by yourself but again uh, group 3 that's your reading for now i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the like button below let me know what you think about uh, think about this in the comments below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already and uh, of course if you want to support this channel and my work youtube has provided a super thanks button which you can use to send donations so the super thanks button is there underneath this video um but yeah that is pretty much it for now i hope you have a great day ahead group 3 and i will see you next time take care bye bye